College of Business and Economics offers many opportunities that um, can become a major asset in how you build and uphold a reputation, especially during the moments when you're trying to get out into the job market. Um, so I took this class, it was Management 425, um, Business Plan Writing for New Ventures, and our professor teamed up with a local nonprofit organization that was starting this new um, agricultural product development center. And they wanted to team up with us to help them write an operations and marketing plan for this new venture. So we did research on, you know, we figured out who the target markets and stuff like that. Who would they be advertising this facility to so that local entrepreneurs and agricultural um, farmers could come in and produce products, value-added agricultural products and heal at this facility. So we did research and um, worked closely with the nonprofit and um, amongst our team we were able to put together an operations and marketing plan and come up with potential products that they could produce in the facility that we thought would be successful in Hawaii. It's like a really good experience to meet a lot of different like successful people in the Hilo community and also on Oahu. So. Right, let's... I guess another thing that, that I really appreciate about the teachers in the College of Business that I've had experience with are that they really encourage you to strive as far and as hard as you can. And um, by doing that, um, you really learn a lot about what you're capable of, of accomplishing. You know? So that support plus your motivation to try to do well and to make a reputation for yourself so that when you get out, out into this like, really difficult job market, you're prepared and confident in knowing that you were able to accomplish these certain things and it just added to what you can offer to future employers when you get out of the College of Business and Economics. Well, the first reason we came here is we want to stay in Hawaii too. UH, well, you know, HP, which is way too expensive. And then there's Hilo, which are really your only three options. And it's like Manoa's right in, right in Waikiki. You know, I mean, that's just too crowded. You know, Hilo is way more laid back, like Kauai, where we're from. You know, there's not as much students, smaller class sizes, good food. <laughs> good cheeseburgers. Yeah, the cafeteria. Oh, bro. <laughs> Killer. <laughs> How do you go wrong? But as far as like the College of Business and Economics goes, it's small classes. Like in our classes, they're like 15 people. When you really get down to your subject, 15 to 20 people. The teacher knows you by name. That's cool. Um, so you have a personal connection with the teacher, but you don't feel so like, ashamed to ask them questions. You know? It's like more of a friendly communication between you two. Yeah. Uh, we have some good experience, you know. Even outside of the class, eating segment and hot mustard. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was just getting together with your group and working on a project with outside of school because it's like you build friends too, you know. Because you meet new people, you have to work with them, you know, harmonize. Yeah, you develop so, a bond. You develop a bond, you make a lot of friends. You need a school you go to, but you know. I think it seems a little bit more easy here to make friends. Because it's just like, Part of the culture. Part of, it's part of the local spirit. Well, it's like people here are already friendly, and then the people who come here are happy to be here because they're excited to be in Hawaii. You know, how can you complain? You know. Do you have any? Is there any like particular memory from a class that just makes you laugh? Is something that happened in class? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> Gene Johnson, you know when you ask any question, you go, it's a good question, and then I'll answer any question you ask.
that's what he does. Me and Justin yeah. would always crack up, bro. Right? Nobody would understand why we're laughing, but yeah. it was always Gene. And he always did it. Yeah. All the teachers here have experience, of course, before the teachers, they've been in the field. So they they tie in their lessons plans and all their activities into stuff they they know a lot about. So like if you have a question, they're gonna they're gonna know the answer. Um, but then it's kind of cool too because you get a more of a perspective, like hearing their stories. I came here because the location was good for me because I wanted. I'm from Maui and I wanted to get away from home but not go too far because I like living in the islands. So. Why do you like living in the islands? Because it's beautiful here. There's sunshine, beaches, you can go shopping, I mean you don't have to go too far. If someone asks you, oh so what did you guys do in that class? So in the management class that I took, we learned about how we should act while in the business world, how we should dress, what we should say, and things that we shouldn't do. It kind of like, it connected real life, right? It was just, it was yeah. something that you could definitely take with you. Yeah. You don't have to go far to get a great education. You can just stay right here. Oh. <laughs> The university has a great atmosphere, everyone's friendly here, and the teachers are willing to go out of their way for you just to see you succeed. In my Management 425 class, we worked on a business plan for the Arc of Hilo's Redemption Center, and um, each, there was six girls in that class total, including myself, and we each came up with a product that could be made at the center, and it's like a sustainable product using um, agriculture from around the state. Mm. And then we made like, the Arc of Hilo was a big business plan and then our products were under that business plan. And then we competed in the Scheidler Business Competition on Oahu. And that's where we won the $1,000 for Social Responsibility Award. What did you get out of it that you think will help you when you get out of college? Well, actually writing the business plan kind of encompassed my previous courses like accounting and marketing. So I got to use those skills from those classes with writing the business plan. small school so it's easy to get acquainted from moving from high school to college since it's not a big you don't have to worry about sitting in a <coughs> lecture room of 400 people and you're just a letter or whatever or just a number that's true that's what I like about it I like the classes that is small because you get to intermingle with the professors so you get to know them not only as a teacher wise but on a semi-personal basis and most of them are like really nice too I mean honestly a lot of them are very personable they're they want you to do well. I mean, of course, they want you to go into their area of study, but, <laughs> you know, they all mean well and they always give you the resources that you need. I like my real estate class because it teaches us the general knowledge about buying property, how to look for property, and all the small minor details that everyone needs to know. Well, I like our real estate class because our professor brings in people from the community and he brings in professionals who know what they're doing, they know the industry, and it makes it more engaging than just listening to lecture or reading the book or just watching videos all the time. I think another one of my classes that was fun was um, the project management class with Dr. Fermel because we learned like a whole bunch of different skills on how to coordinate projects, how to plan it, how to execute it, how do you get the people you need when you need them to where they need to be with all the resources they need to do something. And she integrated like all the newest like e-commerce technology, so <clears throat> websites and you know transactions online, communicating online, which is where 
everything's going on. Okay, the students, you know, the classmates are awesome. <laughs> we, we always hang around like out of school, in school, every time. It's always a good time. That's how we get to know each other better. It's mostly out of school than just only hang around in school. It's how everyone's close. It's pretty much like a whole family over here. You can go anywhere on campus or even outside of campus. You can go to the store and you'll see somebody that you know from school. Big Island, which has like a diverse climate, so five minutes. We're five minutes from the ocean, and we're 45 minutes away from a mountain top that can have snow, and we're still in Hawaii. And I like how the class sizes are small, and the professors are friendly, so you can walk through and they know who you are, not more than just by name, but on a closer level. Well, for marking 313, we have to make a video that advertise the Big Island, mainly Hilo, and its positive qualities. We had to have a three minute video that had to be posted on YouTube. So we had to like take pictures of all the things you can do in Hilo that outside people would like to come and do. Not necessarily students, but tourists. And visitors because we were trying to market Hilo specifically instead of people just coming to Hawaii to see you know Waikiki and Kona we we're trying to give them the other side of like Hawaii's culture and activities besides the beach classes here are challenging because it involves more than just studying and doing homework it, it takes like especially in upper level it takes teamwork and you have to use your personal skills in meeting with other people and you have to think outside the box not just reading a textbook and following an equation it's I guess it's a way to apply yourself when you enter the workforce it's not just reading a textbook and writing down answers it's you have to meet with people, you have to research things, you have to work with other people. And you have deadlines, not necessarily like follow a schedule, but something can pop up and you just gotta get on it and get it done. That's what I think a lot of the projects and assignments are preparing us for here. I think the classmates I have in the College of Business and Economics is a very diverse group of students which is great because you, everyone has their own point of view and their own ideas and we seem to, every group I've been in, it's meshed well, I've never really butt heads and projects always got done on time and I felt that the overall project came out well and I also have fun you know, talking to them and hang, hanging out with them after the fact, you know, they come they're not just fellow students, they end up becoming friends. 